Bitsurk, he's grown up to be quite a man. I mean, he was always the fighter between him and Ube. They've been very, very close, uh, but he turned out to be the fighter. On the surface, he's one of the pleasantest of the sons, but actually, he's very dark, and we don't realize that for quite a while. And then when we see it, it makes sense of certain things we saw before. If it's true that our father lied to his people and abandoned them, then I hope he never comes back. He betrayed our name. If he ever came back, I would kill him. He is going to go with Bjorn on the journey to the Mediterranean. So he shares, I think, that the family trait of, 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 of curiosity. So I told you, I'm committed to going with Bjorn. I can go with father. Bjorn has this map and he wants me to go raiding with him. And I'm gonna do that because I think he's the new guy around, he's the leader. And when Ragnar asked me if I want to come with him, I'm completely silent because I know what I want to do. What do you say, Vitzerk? I think that Vitzerk likes a role model, somebody to replace Ragnar. And I think you find that in Bjorn. How far along are you with your plan? Floki is building the boat. Witzerk has agreed to come with me as well as King Harald and his brother. Witzerk wants some of the things that Ragnar had. I'm not talking about the legacy, I'm talking about the territories that he had. And by doing that, he's gonna gain some legacy, some glory. <laughs> May the gods be with you, brother. Fans can expect incredible season, absolutely incredible season. Perhaps we should make a sacrifice. They're gonna love it. They're gonna, they're gonna be some major changes, some major battles, it's going to be absolutely epic. Your father's return brings calamity. 